Now I was surprised to see Mahatma Gandhiji is painting on the, on the, the car fiber. Well, it very much shows Gandhiji who lived for the poor. Gandhiji who lived for the poor. And he should be depicted in the car fiber which is manufactured by the poorest of the poor. That is symbolic. I congratulate G. Balajandran for giving that, that very memento to the, to the president. Well, they have done wonders, the R&D. And you see, this is an example that if India wants in R&D, if we invest more in R&D, we can produce wonders. I have no doubt we have much hope for further improving all the sector, all the ingredients of the car sector. And I have no doubt our foreign exchange earning will also be increased. Our employment potential also will increase. And this diamond jubilee will be an impetus for a proper attention in that direction. I wish the car board all the best. I wish the industry all the best. I wish the, the, the Jubilee and the attached uh, attended, attended uh, seminars all success. With these words, I conclude. Thank you very much. Jai Hind. It is my proud privilege to address you on the highly significant event of the formal inauguration function of the Diamond Jubilee celebration of the Kairbu. In the august presence of our esteemed and respected President Sri Pranam Mukherjee, only a month ago, the MSC Ministry has blessing of our respected president on the occasion of launch of Kadi Mark of KVAC. I am really thankful to you, sir, for your kindness and accepting our invitation to formally inaugurating the Diamond Jubilee celebration of the Kair Board today, which I am sure will encourage the entire MSME fraternity and board today which I am sure will encourage. The other important area, sir, the government under the dynamic leadership of Srimati Sonia Gandhi, the Honorable Prime Minister, and the Finance Minister, who has really supported for the development of the MSME. The first of its kind, the Honorable Finance Minister has given a support. The earlier 11th plan, he has given 11,000 crores and this 12th plan, double the 11th plan, 24,000 crores for given by the budgetary support for the development of the MSM. I am really thankful to you, your concern. Car industry has a tradition of more than 150 years in the car board statutory body under the Ministry of MSM established under the Car Industry Act. Balachandran ji is doing very well. He is a master in the car board industry. He himself is preparing so many things. And he is creating so many things by only car. Even table, chairs, everything he is doing and he has own expertization in this department. And really, I am thankful to him. In this year, 1,116 crores export is there. With the more support from the budgetary from the Honorable Finance Minister, a small organization with a small investment give more employment and more export. I think the Honorable Finance Minister it is a good fortune for us. Luckily, he was very much present today. And I am only, I don't want to go lengthy speech on this issue. MSME, it is, Gandhiji has started the industry. A man becomes self-sufficient. He should not depend upon any other person or any other country. In 1925, he who started a cottage industry in 1956, it has been converted into the Kaji Village Industries Commission. The Prime Minister, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, who has created a Kaji Commission from that date today, more than 3,000 institutions working purely on Kaji basis. Kaji Village Industries, there is a loan pending State Bank of India 
hardly 250 crores. In the last 20 years, some of the institutions are suffering. For that purpose, we will separately come and explain to you to solve that problem. Then there is no burden for the institutions. Further, we will support because here is the plan you have made and the Pranavda has made that without guarantee of 3 lakhs to the farmers, 25 lakhs for the entrepreneurs. This is a big achievement in this country under the UPA government, UPA chairman Sonia Gandhi ji, Pradhan Mantri, and your sincere finance minister, Sef Watts. You are able guidance from the finance department. That's why we are doing well, sir. We seek your support. We seek the president's blessings. And we will work hard. We will see in the further coming years. We will increase 1 lakh to 2 lakh entrepreneurs for every year. They will give 16 lakh to 20 lakh people employment in this particular department. I seek your blessings of Pranabda and Finance Minister. Thank you, one and all. It's indeed a privilege for me to be present amidst you on this happy occasion when you are celebrating completion of 60 years of your existence, statutory existence rather. 60 years may not be very long period in the life of an institution, but at the same time, it is reasonably long period where it provides us an opportunity to reflect from where we began, where we are now, and what is our objective to reach when we'll celebrate centenary year or 125 years. This is the occasion for that to work out, not only to sit on the path to glory, but to work out the future program. Because this board, perhaps the oldest commodity board established by Government of India through parliamentary enactment has done well in the last 60 years. On all accounts, from production, employment, and export earning, choir industry has made its substantial contribution. In fact, at one point of time, in the beginning of our earlier years of economic development, substantial foreign exchange were earned by our commodity exports, tea, coffee, jute, coins, and things like that. And the continuation of the contribution of coal, particularly for generating employment, especially amongst the women in the rural areas are very substantial. This unique industry of coal manufacturing has grown into a very successful sector. It was spread into other coconut growing states and today thousands of household units are engaged in fiber extractions and spinning of coir yarn throughout the coir production regions. Right now industry's employment is 7 lakh workers. In the last five years it has increased from 6 lakh, almost 1 lakh employment generation has taken place in 14 states. It is also amongst the foremost 
foreign exchange earning industries in our country whose products have a stable market all over the world. I am told that even at the time when our exports were adversely affected by the global recession, our coal industry remained in a positive growth trajectory. This industry has, in fact, evolved in a remarkable way in terms of quality improvement, technological and scientific upgradation of the products, better market research, and product promotion to become a net partner of over 1,100 key crores from the exports of its products. I was glad to learn that along with the upgradation and development of the new machinery and diversification of the traditional items produced in this indigenous industry, due attention is being paid to the development of the environment-friendly technologies and production process. As this is an industry where 80% of the workforce, as I mentioned, are women, the importance of its modernization and upgradation of its infrastructure cannot be emphasized enough. These steps are indispensable to bring about <coughs> greater morale in the workforce, higher productivity, and better quality of products. It is commendable that the choir board has developed the Mohila Choir Jojana scheme in <coughs> to specifically focus on the women in the rural area and train them to take up spinning of choir yarn and other simple process in choir manufacturing. This opening is an opportunity for them to not only contribute but also develop their own self-confidence and self-reliance. I'm glad to see that the choir board is taking several measures to improve the living conditions of the choir workers and helping them to optimize the returns of their efforts and the resources invested in them. Through its various schemes and financial assistance and the support in regular procurement of the raw materials by products, as well as infrastructural support Government of India has given critical backing to boost the existing coir industry and encourage new entrepreneurs. Certainly, there are always challenges to be faced alongside the success, as in other areas of the agricultural sector, difficulties may be faced in availing the credit facilities or with the cost of credit, often delays are encountered in procuring the raw materials. There is also the problem of the inadequate access to the updated technology. These are the areas where it is important for the choir industry to <coughs> receive all the support that it can get. I would very much like to see that the industry becomes self-reliant in terms of raw materials procurement and urge employees to ensure that the workers engaged in the industry are provided enhanced support through the insurance and welfare schemes of the government. The choir board in the five plus decades of its existence has certainly done a lot to address these issues. I congratulate the Coil Board for successful efforts and innovations and its steady focus on market trends. I appreciate its efficiency in converting the information and knowledge swiftly into strategy and guidance for the participants in this industry. It is gratifying to learn that the Choir Board has taken up a number of capacity building measures to upgrade the skills of the workers in the manufacturing process. Once again, I compliment the Choir Board for their initiatives to make this industry successful. I'm sure 
that through its more than 1242 sales outlets throughout the country, its research centers, and its continuous innovation of new products to popularize this material, eco-friendly fiber, the choir board will achieve the goal of significantly increasing revenues of this agro-based industry in the years to come. I wish you all success, Godspeed, and also a very bright and happy, prosperous future. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Jai Hind.